Hey humans, welcome back to otro videito más. So today we're back with more Alpha Guard skins. These guys. What's the purpose of this video is for you to ask questions. Just ask me questions down in the comments below of what you see, what you want to know. Literally just ask me anything. I have four new lenses. Obviously they all need skins. Now, if you look on the table, I have three lenses. The fourth one is right there. 35 at 1.4. I'm not putting any skins on the Tamron lens cap or the Sony lens cap from the 16 to 35 because I ordered two Sigma lens caps because I just like them more. All my lenses have Sigma caps that actually sounded like a sorority. But yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna go through it, basically putting on skins. I'm gonna put this mic right here on my water bottle. This right here is the time lapse, just so you are aware. So I think I'm gonna start with the 2X teleconverter, because obviously it's the easiest. And I know it's this little strip, but my 7200 is wrapped in a skin as well. And I can't just leave it hanging by itself with this and no skin. I mean, it just, it doesn't, it do, obviously it doesn't look the same, but we can't have that. Let's open this baby up. I did order quite a few things. As you can see, they come neatly packaged for order. Um, so you're not fiddling around. This one's the one we're gonna do first for the 2X teleconverter. converter. Have uh, three different uh, colors. This is for the 35 F1.4 because all my other prime lenses have this kind of cool-ish looking, Japanese-ish looking art. This one is for the 35 to 150. Let me put these to the side. And then another thing that I bought that I thought would be really, really, really cool. These ones are for your SD cards. Let's open this one up. I forgot skins, blah, 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 blah. One thing that I forgot about last time is that I bought a heat gun for these skins so they would apply better. I don't have that heat gun anymore, so we'll see. All right, so I have my little tools with me. Okay, so just so you know, the 2X teleconverter skin actually comes with the 1.4X and the 2X. So obviously I'm gonna be using the 2X one. One thing I try to align first is always the locator pin or the locator dot, however you wanna call it. So keep in mind when you're doing these, do not stretch the skin. All right, and we're done with the 2X. Tell me that was not super easy. We're done with one. Let's move on to the 16 to 35. Alpha Guard does something really cool where uh, you scan a QR code and it'll take you to the installation instructions, how to put it together on the lens so all the pieces you know fit where they're supposed to. That's what they show you, which is why I have this iPad which is why I'm gonna use it right now so I can scan this QR code. So for this build, I'm gonna be using these tools. So one thing I always like to start with is the zoom ring and the focus ring. I love that they finish off the skins with these. That way you can protect the whole thing. So I do have to say when you're doing this, you really, really wanna take your time, do this right. Remember, you only have to do it once and then it'll be on there for the longevity of your lens. Nice finish right there. If you're scared about, you know, the tape getting stuck everywhere, you can just peel a little bit and start off that way. But for me, it's definitely not easier to leave that there. Slowly put it together. Again, guys, this is only one time deal. I'm only putting these one time, so make sure they're right. And then once you put it on your focus ring and your zoom ring, just make sure they move nicely. So you didn't stick it to somewhere that doesn't actually move. Uh, make sure you press on it. Make sure it's all in there. This is where the heat gun would come in handy, but I don't have one right now. So maybe I'll put it over the stove <laughs> here in a little bit. Let's go to the zoom ring where the little numbers are. Uh, we're going to put this one next just because I know which one it is. So I'm gonna set this down like so. And you see, the one thing I love about these skins is that they just fit so perfectly. Like, you know a lot of thought went into this. Like, it's 
It's very, very well made. Very well thought out. All right, let's keep on moving. When you're peeling these off, just be careful. Don't pull on these because obviously they are still basically tape and you can definitely tear them up, especially in the sections that are like very thin. And I feel like some of you may be like, man, this doesn't really look that much different. And yeah, true, it doesn't look that much different, but the goal is, is for a little, like a subtle change, you know? It's like something different, something edgy. Here, I'm gonna need these to pick this up. But even your little customizable button has a skin on it. I feel like here I didn't do the best job here at the end, so I'm gonna grab it, peel it off a little bit, we stick. Like I said, you only have to do this once, so do it right. I think that should be the title of this video. You only have to do it once, so do it right. Very simple, very nice. I'm just trying to get the big boys out of the way so I can deal with the ones that are not so obvious. And again, just try not to stretch them because even if you don't think you're stretching them, you probably, you probably are. Alpha Guard, I'm not sure if this is on purpose or not, but this kind of looks like the Batman signal. Max, what do you want <laughs> kind for dinner? Of, obviously not really good. So the important part here is to align the Sony correctly. This one's tricky because this one I actually have to rotate a little bit, not even move up and down, but rotate it so it actually fits properly. All right, second time's a charm, got it. Got this one all done. And come on, you can't tell me that does not look better. Of course it looks better. Boom, lens has been completed. 16 to 35 F 2.8 Sony GM version Uno. <laughs> I think it looks pretty sick, looks different. Main thing is it's protected from scratches. Let's jump to the 35 to 150, the big boy. I'm really scared about this one. This one's really big. That's what she said. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna take a lot. Let's go through the time lapse and get all these lenses done. Done with the tamer on. Definitely took a little, little bit. They definitely like covered a lot more of the lens. Like they went all out. Even this bottom part right here is covered on the 16 to 35. I thought it was gonna be one for that section cause you can clearly see it, but it wasn't. But for this one there is, so that's pretty sweet. It means they're upping their gain. But yeah, overall this one looks pretty sweet. But as you can see, it's not a big difference. Like it's, it's still basically a black lens like it's not super flashy i think my flashiest one is the 50 f 1.2 that one is gold my other ones are the military green for the macro lens and then the 85 you know it's still a black lens it's just covered now it's time to take you out of there let's jump to the time lapse All the lenses are finished. I decided to use the Sigma lens cap that I had for the 35 to 150. And I just gotta say, the reason I like the Sigma lens caps better is because they're they're tighter on the lens. Like here, I mean, look how easy I could turn that. But on here, like you have to put some force into it. The Sigma, they're better. So I'm waiting for the other two to show up and then I'll put in this uh, 16 to 35. I just gotta say, these, these Alpha Guard skins, they are precise. They work, they fit, they just, they just stick on there, like real good. I don't know if you saw a video that I made about removing the Alpha Guard skins, but it, nothing really happens. You don't damage the lens or anything but it is pretty on there. Honestly, the main reason to get these skins is to protect your lenses. It's protect them up against like scuffs and scratches and all that. It does, it does work. And they look good, not super flashy. They do have flashier options as you can see right here. 
So, I mean, you can go with the flashier option and that's fine, that's fine. They literally have styles for everyone and they have skins for like almost everything. I mean, just go look. And if you can't find it, send them an email. Be like, hey, listen, I want a skin for this and I don't have it. You guys don't have it. They'll probably make you one. <laughs> but seriously, um, their customer service is super great. They do an amazing job, like all the time. Now with my order that I'm missing a few things, I'm gonna email them what I'm missing and they're gonna send it out with no issues, no problems, no second thoughts. Like their customer service is just that good. And I applaud them, they, their, their product is good, it works, it does what it's supposed to. I think they're a great company. Also, they have a secret menu, which you should you know, dive deep. I'll put in the link down below of the secret menu, but it's pretty cool, pretty sick. If you wanna order it, all you have to do is select the secret menu selection and type in the secret menu item you want, AKA the skin. And it's very, very intuitive, uh, but go check them out. The links are gonna be down below. Let me know down in the comments below. What did you think? Was this video helpful? Did you learn anything? I really hope I helped you out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that works, you know. Oh wait.